Good morning, children. Again, welcome to biology class. So today we are going to start human circulatory system, chapter body fluids and circulation. Now, children, you know that human circulatory system. It is also known as blood vascular system. It consists of muscular chambered heart, a network of closed breathing wall blood vessels, and the fluid blood, which is in circulation motion. Now, the heart it is situated almost in the middle line in the thoracic cavity between the lungs. Its apex is tilted towards the left side of the body. And heart, it is enclosed in the bony thoracic cage formed by the backbone, ribs, breast bones, and diaphragm. So the heart, it is hollow, muscular, and cone-shaped organ, and it is the size of the fist and near about weights 300 grams in men and about 250 grams in women. It measures 12 centimeter in length and 9 centimeter in width. Now the heart, it is enclosed in a membranous covering which is known as pericardium and it is formed of two layers, fibrous pericardium and serous pericardium. Fibrous pericardium, it is tough, loosely fitted and inelastic sac which is present around the heart. It is made of white fibrous tissues and it prevents excessive expansion of heart. Whereas serous pericardium, it is of two thin layers, parietal layer and visceral layer. Parietal layer forms the lining of the fibrous pericardium, whereas visceral layer or epicardium, it adheres to the heart forming its outer covering. Between the parietal and the visceral layers present the pericardial space which is filled with the pericardial fluid. Now pericardium, it protects the heart from injury, mechanical shocks and against friction. And pericardial fluid, it keeps the heart moist. So let's study about the external structure of the heart. Now a human heart, it is four chambered and consists of two auricles or the atria and two ventricles. There is no sinus venesis. Now auricles, they form the upper small part of the heart and auricle, they are produced in a, into a flap, the auricular appendix. Whereas ventricle forms the largest lower part of the heart and externally two ventricles they are marked by an oblique septum known as interventricular groove. See here children, this is the external view of the human heart. It's superior vena cava, pulmonary train, tongue, ascending aorta left pulmonary veins, left atrium, right atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle, this is a septum which divides the left and the right ventricle, interventricular sulcus. Now this is the coronary sulcus which divides the auricles from the ventricles, superior vena cava which brings the blood from the upper part of the body, then pulmonary trunks and the pulmonary veins which carry the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Now the grooves or the sulci, they are seen on the surface of the heart. Now coronary sulcus, it is an irregular transverse groove which divides the auricular part and the posterior ventricular part. Interventricular groove, it is an oblique longitudinal groove on the ventral side of the ventricular part. So let's study about the internal structure of the heart. Internally, auricles, they are thin wall chambers which are separated by thin inter auricular 
or interarterial septum. Now it is a laminar of embryonic aperture form an oval. In the embryonic stage, blood from the right atrium passes into the left atrium through foramen ovum. Right atrium, it is thin wall and it is larger than left atrium. An auricular appendage hangs out from its lower margin, which is muscular pouch like structure. It is as thin and less muscular wall and which receives openings of superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and coronary sinus. Right atrium, it opens into the right ventricle by the aperture known as arterioventricular aperture. Now, the valves which are present in the right atrium is opening of inferior vena cava, it is guarded by a valve like structure, flat like structure known as the station valve or the valve of Eustachius. Now again a valve is present at the, at the opening of coronary sinus, coronary sinus known as valve of Thebesis or the Thebesis valve. Now right atrioventricular aperture it is guarded by a tricuspid valve which is consists of three membranous flaps. The ventricular face of these flaps they are connected to the papillary muscles of ventricle by fibrous and elastic bands of collagenous tissues called cordytenini. They prevent pushing of flaps into atrium which when ventricles contract and thus they prevent backflow of blood from ventricle to the right atrium. Now opening of superior vena cava it is without the valve. Now left atrium, it is smaller than right atrium and it has thicker walls as compared to the auricular appendage. Now it has openings of four pulmonary veins and these are again not guarded by valves. Now left atrium, it opens into left ventricle by left arterioventricular aperture and it is guarded by bicuspid valve or mitral valve. Now it consists of two flaps only. Both arteriventricular valves they allow blood to flow from artery into respective ventricles and prevent blood flowing in the reverse direction. Ventricles, these are thick walled lower chambers of heart and separated by oblique septum known as interventricular septum. The right ventricle pumps deoxygenated blood to the pulmonary arteries which supplies blood to the lungs alone whereas left ventricle pumps oxygenated blood to aorta which supplies blood to all the body parts. So left ventricle it is large and its walls are three times thicker than the right ventricle because left ventricle has to pump blood into vessels supplying blood to the entire body. Now the inner surface of ventricle it is raised in a low muscular ridges called columnic or carni or trabeculi carni and a few large conical muscular elevations the musculi papillaris or papillary muscles. At the opposite end of papillary muscles they are connected with the collagen cords of body tenini. So here is the internal structure of the heart. Now here is the superior vena cava which breaks blood, blood from the upper part of the body. Now branches of right pulmonary artery which carries deoxygenated blood from heart to the lungs. Then pulmonary trunk, left pulmonary veins which brings oxygenated blood from lungs to the heart. Then this is the opening of superior vena cava into the auricle and opening of inferior vena cava to the auricle. Then here is the right atrioventricular valve or the tricuspid valve. Now these are joined hand out with the help of body tenini. Now left auricle and these are the semilunar valves. Now left atrioventricular valve or the metral valve. Then left ventricle 
right ventricle and here is the inferior vena cava. Now here is the difference between the bicuspid valve and the tricuspid valve. You will learn yourself children, okay? Now this is all for today children. We will learn another part of circulation in next class like double circulation. Till then thank you and have a nice day.